everyone and welcome back to a new vlog so it's friday and i'm feeling great i'm feeling good because it is product launch day so me and carrie are launching a product today at 6 p.m so i need to get all of my personal stuff done beforehand i've just popped in a wash i had lots of clothes i needed to <laughs> work in the wash i feel like my makeup looks really odd today on camera or is it the lighting it probably is my makeup i'm not gonna lie i'm, I'm looking a bit like trash i don't know what's what's going on anyway um my decenio i put one of my decenio prints up here um and, and it's so calming like i've just been sat here doing my makeup and it's just it's really weirdly relaxing like i don't know if anyone else feels that vibe but i don't know i just i just like that i've got that next to my bed because it's such a relaxing thing to look at um i've just been watching a safi b vlog i really feel like i'm in sick form all over again i started my channel in between my first and second year of sick form um, and I was actually inspired by Saffron Barker because I thought she's younger than me and she is so confident and like so full of energy and just doing what she loves without giving a shit what anyone thinks and that's actually what inspired me to start creating YouTube videos I'm not gonna lie and um, so yeah credit to Saffron Barker for that because it did push me that someone younger than me was just so outright confident and like didn't give a shit if people were gonna take the piss out of her and you know I, I just absolutely love her and really rate her for that so yeah just thought i'd give you a bit of an insight because i don't think i've ever actually shared that on my channel so yeah i'm watching a saffron barker vlog because she's started uploading vlogs again which i'm buzzing about <laughs> i've not really done much this morning i don't think i share but basically every time i have like a thought or something that i want to push into the universe and want more people to see and hopefully inspire them i always write it down in my little notebook lots of my ideas come from late night thoughts so i sit and i write in my little book here it says you've got this um, and I actually just sit here and write all of my ideas, all of my thoughts, things that I can say that hopefully will help people look at their bodies in a much better light. Um, and that's what I use for inspo for my Instagram captions to hopefully touch people and change the way people are looking at themselves. That's literally all I want to do. So yeah, I uploaded one of those this morning. Um, and I've also prepped up some of the launch, um, I pop some launch stuff on all of the social medias like Twitter, I've got Facebook and the Instagram. And then, yeah, what else have I got? Oh, I've just had a message from one of my managers saying that my ad can go live this evening. I've got my other Braun epilator ad going up tonight. But if you've seen me talk about them in the vlogs, that Braun epilator is actually unreal. Like, I genuinely, like, I've not been told to speak about it on my YouTube at all. It was just an Instagram sponsorship. Love it. Like, I don't know why I've never had an epilator in my life. It's, like, my new favourite beauty tool. I haven't shaved my legs for three weeks. Like, I haven't needed to shave my legs for three weeks because the epilator, like, pulls the hairs out from the root so it takes a lot longer for them to grow back you i usually would be shaving like a few times a week um, and now to have weeks where i don't need to actually shave my legs is actually just insane like it's only now they're starting to grow back a bit and they're a lot like thinner and more sparse so yeah i'm absolutely buzzing about that and i really appreciate that i was able to work with braun because they're a company that i um worked with like earlier on in my blogging like world and it's just nice that i I'm able to work with them again. They also got this little scrunchie. How cute is this scrunchie? Um, the lovely team at Zip Code sent it to me. And it's just like a little handmade, um, like vintage retro scrunchie. I don't know if you can see it, but I just think it's so cute. It's such a lovely little touch. And then I also had a couple of parcels. I have one from Priya has sent over from her brand from P to You. These are her details in case you wanted to check her out. But honestly this girl you need to message her if you want a little pick me up she has look at her handwriting for one she's written me a handwritten letter how gorgeous is her handwriting that is literally so insane and then she has sent over in this gorgeous little pouch a little pink compact mirror and then it's got my favorite body posy quote that says treat your body like someone you love and I just was, I just think that's such an amazing idea and it's so beautifully executed, like with the little engraving on the mirror. So like every time you look, you need to touch up, you've got this in your handbag, you touch up and you just see that little quote in it. 
it uplifts you. I think that's such a great idea. So big thank you to Priya for sending that over. Go check out from PTU on Etsy. And then I have some amazing goodies from the wonderful team at Goose and Gander. I'm going to be creating some spring summer photos with these, I think, for sure. So we've got three t-shirts. Um, I decided to get a little bit of colour. So we've got this gorgeous lemon, um, like washed um, GGLTD t-shirt. I've always rave about Goose and Gander, so you know, you guys know how much I love it. So I'm going to whack this on, I think, in a second to film a video. I'm filming a like, Body Posse Gals recommendations video, so people that you can follow on social media that will make you feel amazing about yourself, that empower people, that are just wonderful women that I follow that makes Instagram such a wonderful, happy place for me. Um, and I just feel like I want to share those people um, and give them the credit they deserve. Um, and then I've also got a, I opted for one of the green tees. I just thought a green is like a, a nice, fun summer colour too. Just again, simple GGLTD on the front there. And then we've also got this, which I thought was a classic. It just says Goose and Gander. It's just like a plain boxy white tee. And then on the back, we have the definitions of Goose and Gander. And silly little me didn't realise that Gander actually means male goose. And goose is just like a female goose. How mad? I did not know that. Goose is a female goose and gander's a male goose. Please say it's not just me that didn't know that, right? <laughs> Actually just, I thought gander was like, what people use for like walking, like gandering, gander. Fuck knows, I, I feel really stupid now, um, considering I've just finished my degree. But yeah, goose and gander, I just thought that little definitions, it's just like a really cool, um, minimalist vibes tea. Yeah, so I had some lovely deliveries this morning. So thank you very much to everyone who has sent me stuff to my address. Loads of these stuff is like no obligation to share, but I just think it's so nice to share all these businesses with you guys in case you are looking for a gift for yourself, a gift for someone. Just finding all these nice new small businesses to support, especially during this time. Now I'm going to sit, film my body posse video, and I will get back to you when I'm doing something fun. Hopefully I'll make something nice to eat because i'm starving <laughs> so you may have seen from one of my vlogs last week i think i showed it at the end of my um good why uni vlog that stacker sent over one of their incredible jewelry boxes um and you can like customize them and layer them up it's actually so cool so this is one of their classic jewelry boxes but you can like make them depending on what you want to sort of store and um, but i picked this one because i thought at the top this gives me the option to put all of the things that i'm wearing recently so i've got rings like sections for rings bracelets earrings so my big earrings and i've got a clip there and everything which i've popped in i haven't actually put all of my jewelry or converted it from my other jewelry box into it yet and then the next layer so you just pull this layer off and um, this layer has loads of spaces for loads of different earrings which is actually so good for me because i lose my earrings all the time so at least it stops that from happening i just really like this little sort of grid um stack um by the way mine is white croc print i'm not sure if you can quite tell but that's the one that i really like the most but there's loads of different colors and styles and then at the bottom i've got three big compartments for glasses and watches so i've got some watches over here on the right and then loads of my favorite sunglasses that i've been enjoying at the minute along side a couple of other random bits like clips and um, yeah i'm absolutely obsessed with this if you want to grab 10 percent off your order and um, the code scarlet slippers 10 will get you 10 percent off um which is amazing so yeah thank you very much again to stackers for sending that over and i just really wanted to shout it out again now that i've got all my jewelry in it because i think it's such a cool idea as a gift or even again to treat yourself so yeah big up stackers thank you right so i've just finished my little body posy video just made this weird little setup down here i really like it my gorgeous decenio prints i'm gonna put on my wall soon yeah i think now i'm gonna go make some lunch me and david really want to make our own tango ice blast because we saw that if you crush some ice pop in some lollies and put tango in a blender then it makes like a tango ice blast we don't have tango we have fanta so we're gonna see how it works it probably won't taste as good because tango definitely tastes better than fanta but we're gonna give it a go. Right, so I have just finished filming. Um, the University of Lincoln have uploaded my first video that I filmed of them. It's so exciting that they wanna work with me now that I've finished uni. Um, so I've upload they've uploaded this onto their Instagram on IGTV um, and I give all my best tips on moving to university, starting uni life and just everything uni related. So if you're moving to uni and you're scared, this is a great video for you. Um, I'll leave it down below in case anyone is interested, but I just thought I'd mention it um, because it's just exciting isn't it like that i get to still have some interaction with my uni it's made my life a better 
so much better so it's really nice that I can um, work with them. Just got my notebook out, I've just been going through some bits, just you know, um, trying to stay on top of things. We've got the launch in a couple of hours so I'm just sort of prepping for that. I'm glad I've got all of my personal stuff sorted now. I also need to package up some Depop bits. Sorry if the vlogs are becoming very samey samey but I hope they are enjoyable nonetheless. I do need to have a massive declutter of my wardrobe and still like there's literally nowhere to put all this stuff so I think my nan and granddad have actually offered that I can put some of my like house stuff from uni in their attic until I actually move into my own house which is really kind of them obviously we're gonna have to wait until we can physically do that that's why my room is gonna stay a state and this is why I stay over this corner of my room I've been trying to make it look a little bit prettier over here so I've got my dying flowers that I need to remove from bloom and wild but they lasted so long I've still got my 10 pound code if anyone wants to treat themselves and I've got all my cute little cacti from uni that survived I don't know how they managed it but they did survive um in there I've got lots of like my hair accessories and stuff but it's beautiful it looks like a candle holder my favorite pe perfume which is Miss Dior um then I've got all of my planners and stuff my little um wireless charger I really like this corner of my room then I've got my new decenio print all of my pillows squashed in the corner because I've just taken them off my bed because it's too warm and then this little area here this mirror was from Wilco I believe or Ikea I can't remember either one this plant was home sense I've got my favorite Jo Malone candle which is wood sage and sea salt it smells so amazing but it's very pricey it was a, a Christmas treat this bottles from neon sheep matches the little fake plant perfectly and then all of my favorite diaries and planners for all the different things and bits and bobs Woohoo! so I've got carry on FaceTime been on for the last like probably 20 minutes or whatever and we are just waiting for the new product to go live we've got it set for 6 p.m so we're very excited we've literally just um shared on our instagram i'll show you um we've just announced the product so we've got lemonade and cola which are our two new presets in a little duo pack so these have been our little stories today exciting so some people guessed right we're just giving the girl who's guessed right a little code as a treat. Um, I can't find the... <laughs> so cute. I need the coming soon mm -hmm. thing for Twitter and I just can't find it anywhere. Yeah, what I was, what I was going to say is if you've already got the presets that we launched on our actual launch day and we've made these presets so they complement the others as well. Designed Pogo and Lemonade to fit seamlessly into a feed with our other three presets from the coffee collection so that they can all be used together as one. Yeah, absolutely. Carrie just said it, said, took the words from my mouth because um, apparently I can't talk today. Um, but yeah, so they are designed so that they match with the other presets in case you have already bought them and wanted some more to like change it up. Like me and Carrie love having like a mix of presets so then we can like switch between them depending on the vibe of the photo. Especially like different photos. I feel like a lot of people ask, I look so rough. No, it's they fine. Don't they always look like an actual mongrel. No, you um, don't. <laughs> on... Yeah, everyone was like, saying, we want more presets. Like that. Yeah, yeah. That was probably our most requested thing for to bring out some more presets. So we, we've delivered and we are already thinking about new launches and stuff. Like we've got some really exciting stuff. We want, yeah. should we say physical products? Should we say that? We, physical products are in the pipeline. Yeah, physical products are in the pipeline. But obviously they take a lot more time and probably, I don't know. We don't know, obviously. We've never brought out a physical yeah, product. We don't want to rush any launches because we care so much about like the quality mm -hmm. thing. Absolutely. Just how it's been for these past launches as well. But obviously it's a bit different with digital products and physical products. Yeah. But honestly, we are so excited for the ideas we've had, like, together. 12 minutes. 12 minutes. We've literally got, been going crazy, haven't we, the past few days. Like, with all of our stuff, we've got, like, this huge document <laughs> that has all of our ideas, like, that just come out, even if they look sound so stupid and ridiculous at the time. Like, we just whack we them down. the original launch that nothing's too ridiculous. Yeah, true. Very true. Um, but, yeah, we're excited to see if anything, like, if people love the products as much as we love them. Um. Have you spoke about lemonade and cola, the difference? No, you speak. Okay, so in the preset pack, we've got lemonade and cola. Lemonade is, um, so they go with the coffee collection, but you could have them alone as well. It's not like you need the yeah, coffee yeah, collection yeah. to have them, but they blend with the coffee collection nicely. Lemonade, both of them have sort of got a golden tone through them. Lemonade's a lot brighter. So pretty for summer, I want to add. They're yeah. so pretty for summer photos. I think lemonade looks nice for like selfies and things as well. Yeah, I mean? like, yeah. It's really brightening. Golden. Well, and they 
Coda, obviously, like, you can kind of get it from the names, is a lot darker, and it's sort of, it's more, like, contrasted, brings the shadows down a bit. Although it's not, like, dark. It, no, no, because it has that golden glow, which is still beautiful, yeah. but it like just accentuates products or things in the background, just like darkens the shadowed areas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then they both have a slight grain running through. Yeah. Yeah, well, the grain you is. You can edit the presets. It's not like if they put a grain on them, you have to keep the grain on them. You can yeah, you can. The grain off, the grain yeah, down. you can easily remove the grain, which like I do sometimes for photos if they're a little bit less quality than some of my other ones. If you know what I mean. Both got other glasses of cola. Got my coke for launch. Woohoo! Woohoo! Cheers. Five minutes, Charlotte. So I'm just getting the feed post ready. Um, Carrie's doing stories. I'm sure. What are Which you... is different because it's normally the other way around. Yeah, it is. We're changing it up. The feed post just. I don't know why, because in theory, feed posts are actually sort of easier. Because, like, you don't have to do as much. But there's something about feed posts that just always goes wrong. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Something about feed posts always goes wrong. Also, we've got a minute. Oh, God. Are you ready to click send? No. Yeah, I am. Oh, my God. Are we going to have to check that it's live on the website? Like, double check no, that right, it's already. I'll do that. You get the feed post up. Right, ready. I'm scared. I'm terrified. <laughs> it's gone. Six, it's right? Not up. It's not up. I repeat, it's not up. Okay. Seriously. Okay. I'm sh I've just do? shared it on the feed. I've just shared it on the feed. It's yeah. there. It's there. It's no. all good. It's all good. <laughs> No. Oh, Lizzie. it's Lizzie. Oh, she actually kills me. Right, everything has been launched and I've just finished putting up the before and afters on the stories. So just so you can see what I've just done. We've literally spammed the stories because we want to show like how amazing the presets look on people's photos. So this is Beth Little, done tap to edit. So this is Lemonade, then Dave with Cola, Ella with Lemonade, got this cute coffee pick, Emily Louise YouTube, Lemonade, Zara, then we've got Matilde's gorgeous travel pics with lemonade there. Look how much it makes the sunset pop. So pretty. Then I've got this photo. This is actually a selfie here with lemonade. Absolutely love it. It gives that like golden hour glow. So, um, it's a few hours since launch now. Excuse me, when I actually made the like physical copy edit. Um, when I had an interview with Phoebe, the journalist for North Ants Telegraph, she said I might not have been in the actual paper depending on how the editor decides to put stuff in. But I'm actually on page three. Lol. Um, so that's one of my things ticked off my bucket list because I've always want, been want, wanted to be one of the page three models. And yeah, sick. So I'm going to pop this in my scrapbook. I'm going to start doing that soon. So I've got my scrapbook over there. This is going to go in it, which is actually quite a bit mad. Um, it's freaking me out because I feel like surely that's not in the newspaper. Like surely people aren't buying the newspaper and that's in it. But... Carrie Pendle, do you want to say hello? Hey, bitches. I've just got some ice cream, red bread, bread, and brownie inside and I smushed it all around and I'm just enjoying it. <laughs> Hey everyone, so I have had a very much of a consistency admin day doing lots of things in preparation for the week That's what me and Carrie like to do over the weekend Like plan ahead for the week, create all the stuff that we need to Edit all the stuff that we need to for um, uploading throughout the week um, On the socials But now me and David are about to make um, our own Tango Ice Blast We've got my blender back from uni that I use I think it's Morphe Richards, yeah Morphe Richards blender and we thought we'd make our own Tango Ice Blast, but we don't have Tango, we have Fanta, which is arguably worse. But we're gonna give it our best shot. So we've got Fanta, ice cubes, Helter Skelter um, ice lollies, and we're gonna see what I we can do. It, that's why. Yeah, David said he saw <laughs> it on TikTok, he was like, should make it. Comment, it doesn't really, it didn't taste like it, but even so, I can't, I feel like it's gonna taste good. So what you're saying is it's not enough. Just write it off like a prescription drug. You've been fussing how we never touch But who can bother with this kind of fussing When we've been walking this blind Frustrated, outdated, what's on your mind Drove for this David just put Fanta, so David's gonna go first so I'm gonna just fill, put some Fanta in mine We'll let you know, we'll let you know the results Oh my god, I'm just overloaded It's overloaded, maybe it's because it's fizzy, I don't know I'm done. We've just had a massive malfunction, so Dave is just sorting that out. 
Yeah, it is. It is something to do with me and Fizzy, I think. Yeah. Right, so I can't find the last bit of footage from this vlog um, because it's so backlogged. I'm really behind and everything. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Make sure to smash the thumbs up. If you did, subscribe down below if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow for a brand new vlog. Bye, guys. Bye.